All right, so for indicator 16.3, we are going to still be in story problems, but we are going to be dealing with story problems that are more suited for substitution. Uh, it's still system of equations, but instead of solving using elimination, we're going to solve these using substitution. These are a little bit trickier, I think, to set up, um, but I'll give you some hints as to how to do that. And then um, this is your actual homework assignment. So as you're going through the video, do be doing your actual homework assignment. And then I will leave some of them undone for you to actually complete to complete your homework assignment, which is due tomorrow. Okay, all right. So for number one, we've got Derek is five less than twice as old as Brandon. So um, that means Derek is the oldest one. Okay, that's kind of, that comes in handy here in a minute. Um, the sum of their ages is 43. How old are Derek and Brandon? So the first thing you need to do is, you know that since it's gonna be a system of equations, you know you need at least two equations. So that means they're gonna have to give you two sets of information to be able to set this up as a system of equations in order to solve for Derek's age and Brandon's age. So the first thing we look at, it's the, really the easiest of the two, is that the sum of their ages is 43. That's really the easiest one to, to set up. So it says the sum of their ages is 43. Well, if we use D for Derek and B for Brandon, right, that's pretty straightforward, then that means that Derek's age plus Brandon's age equals 43, okay? That's, that's pretty straightforward and easy. Where it gets a little bit trickier is when you've got um, the other part of the clue, which is that Derek is five less than twice as old as Brandon, okay? So that means that Derek is almost twice as old as Brandon, not quite, it's five less than that. But uh, to simplify it, just thinking through this, because you've got to ask yourself, which is the greater um, term or which is the greater one? Is it Derek or Brandon's age? When we go down later on in, in later ones to solve, it's asking, you know, try to ask yourself which one is, is the greater number because that's always the one that you set uh, your equation equal to. So in this case, okay, Derek is less than twice as old as Brandon. And that means Derek is the oldest. So I'm gonna set an equation up for Derek equals and then I need to manipulate Brandon's age to equal Derek's age. And I know that if I use, and right here, it's twice as old as Brandon. So that can be equated as 2B, right? Twice as old as Brandon is 2B. And, but it says it's five less than that. So we need to subtract five from that total. So now I have an equation for um, Derek's age equaling twice the amount of Brandon minus five. Well, when I have it set up like this, this is set up really nicely for substitution. So that means that in, in the second equation, I have this clue about Derek. And in the first equation, I have Derek's uh, a variable. So I can substitute the 2b minus 5 into my first equation where there was a d, and then I can solve for b. So when I do that, it looks like this. We've got Derek, which is 2b minus 5, right? That's Derek's age, plus b equals 43. And what this really is saying is d plus b equals 43. But in place of d, I'm using the clue that I have from the second equation. All right, so now that I have this, I need to simplify. So first, I'm going to, uh, let me get rid of that. There we go. First, I'm going to just write equals 43 because I don't need to simplify anything on that side. On the left-hand side, I've got 2b, and remember this is a one because it's 1b. So I just need to combine like terms here. I'm not doing any algebra. I'm not moving things left and right. I'm just simply rewriting the left-hand side in a more simplified manner. So think about it if the left side's a basket. In that basket, I have 2b and 1b. So how many b's do you have on the left side? The answer is three. Right, so I have three Bs, so I'm gonna write three B minus five. I'm just simply simplifying the left-hand side. Now that I have it simplified, now I'm ready to actually start doing some algebra. So I'm gonna add five and add five to both sides. And when I do that, I get three B equals 48. And then I divide by three and I divide by three and I get that B equals 16. Okay. 
B equals 16. So I know that Brandon is 16 years old. Okay, that's my first um, and half of the answer. Now to get the second half of the answer, I'm gonna use my D equals two B minus five, right? I'm gonna use this equation right here and I'm gonna set it up D equals two times Brandon, but now I know that Brandon is 16. So I'm gonna plug that in minus five and two times 16 is 32 minus five. So Derek is 27 years old. And again, real quick, just to make sure that that adds up right, 16 plus 27 is in fact 43, which I was told at the beginning is the sum of their ages. So this would be the answer. So the hard part about these is really honestly, it's setting up this equation right here. It's setting up that second equation that is typically the most difficult part of these problems, okay? So I'm gonna leave you to set up number two and I'm gonna set up number three for you. So Cassidy loves black and yellow jelly beans. So right away, I'm talking about black and yellow jelly beans. So I'm gonna use a B for the black ones and a Y for the yellow ones. She notices that when she's counting them that she has eight less than three times as many black jelly beans as she does yellow jelly beans. So that is one clue. She has eight less than three times as many black. So that means she has more blacks, right? Because Eight less is just a little bit of a change, but three times as many black as she has yellow. So that tells you that she's gonna have more black. So I know that one of my equations is gonna be set up B equals because she has more black than she has anything else, right? And it's three times as many black um, as, I'm sorry, I said that backwards, sorry. She has, yeah, that's right. Black is my, she has more blacks, so that means I have to take the yellow times three, so three Y, but then I have to subtract eight from that because she has three times as many black as yellow. So I gotta take the three times the yellow and then subtract eight because it's eight less than that in order to equal the number of black jelly beans because I have more black than anything else, okay? All right, and then my other equation is pretty simple to set up, thankfully. Um, it just says that in total, she has 348 jelly beans. So if I put that my black plus my yellow equals 348, okay? So again, I've got two equations. I'm set up here really nicely for substitution. I've got what B equals. I've got a B in the other equation. So I can substitute 3Y minus eight for B. So then plus Y equals 348. Again, I'm gonna combine my like terms. So I've got 3B and 1B, or 3Y and 1Y, which can be uh, simplified as 4Y minus eight equals 348. And then I'm going to add eight and add eight. And that gives me 4Y equals 356. And then when I divide by four and divide by four, I get that yellow equals, uh, let's see, 356 divided by four equals 89. So I have 89 jelly beans. Well, now I need to see how many black ones I have. Well, I know I have three times as many black ones as yellow, subtract eight. So I'm gonna take my black ones equal three times my number of yellow ones minus eight. So three times 89 is 267 minus eight. And so for a total on the black jelly beans, I have 300, I'm sorry, 259. And again, they are both jelly beans. So I label my answer jelly beans. So my answer is I have 89 yellow and I have 259 black. All right, uh, I'm gonna skip number four, let you set that one up. I'm gonna help you set up number five and number six and number eight. All right, so number five, I have a tennis team that has nine more boys than girls. So I know I have more boys, right? So I know that one of my equations is gonna be B equals. And if I have a total of, this is one of my clues. If I have a total of 21 players, I know that my B plus my G equals 21, okay? That's one equation. And then I also know that I have more boys than girls. So if I take my girls, and I add, right, because there's nine more boys, if I add nine to the total of girls, that's gonna give me my number of boys. So I'm not gonna work this one, I'm just gonna set this one up. We have B equals, 
we need to put the girls seventh and eighth grade basketball game for tonight against WRB has been canceled. Thank you. So we have what B equals. We can substitute it in the other equation for B, and then we can solve. I'm not going to work that one. I just wanted to help you set it up. Uh, let's see. In Sullivan High School, the number of trumpet players is four times the number of French horns. So the number of trumpet players is four times the number of French horns, right? So I know that if I take, oops, sorry. Uh, and then it also says, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. And then it says that the uh, there are 35 trumpet and horn players in the band. So the easy one to set up is that I'm going to do trumpet and horn. So the easy one to set up is that trumpet plus horn equals 35, because I know that there are 35 total players in the band. Okay. Now I know that the trumpet players is four times the number of French horn players. So I know that the trumpet players, there's more of them because there's four times as many of those. So I'm gonna put the biggest one equals, and then what do I have to do to the French players to get it up to the equal the trumpet players? Well, I have to multiply it by four. And again, you've got 4H in place of T. So you put 4H in place of T and you solve for H, and then you plug that in and solve for T. All right, I'm going to leave you to set up number seven on your own. The last one I want to set up is number eight. That is the cost of Taylor Swift's new CD. Uh, CD is three times the cost of her iTunes download. Okay, so again, I need to decide I'm going to use C for CDs and I'm going to use D for downloads. Okay, C stands for CDs and D stands for downloads. And CDs is three times the cost of the download. So I have more CD or the CDs cost more, right? So the CDs cost more than, they cost three times more than the download. So if I take the downloads and multiply it times three, that gives me the cost of the CD. The other thing I know about this equation. The girls seventh and eighth grade will be practicing tonight from six to seven thirty. Thank you. The other thing I know about this is that if two CDs and three downloads add up together, they cost $47.70. So that equation is going to look like this. Two CDs plus three downloads totals $47.70. Okay. And uh, again, you've got 3D in place of C. So you've got 3D in place of C substituted in and solved. Now I will say this on number eight. This one is a money question, right? So two things. One is your answer needs to be in the form of money. Money is dollars and cents. So uh, dollars point and then to the hundredth, right? Cents is always two spots. And because this is money, you may not get a nice round number like you do on all the other ones, okay? And like you do on all the elimination ones. It is possible because it's money to get an answer that has a decimal because it is dollars and cents. All right, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, otherwise, you can uh, do all your work on Cami and then submit it uh, when you're finished.